in the last episode, we probably defeated someone, and as I can see here, uh, at least one of our heroes is fairly, well, insane. <laughs> Uh, we also seem to have the free treatment ward and the medical ward. So let's make use of that and let's play Darkest Dungeon. Let me just turn that sound a small bit. Okay, we've already done that. That's good to see. Okay. So we can put these people here or this guy into uh, some form of care. Okay, he gains 20% stress healed in brothels, so let's just do that. Glad the caretaker's not there yet. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, the rest of our heroes is uh, still pretty okay. I mean, a bit beat up, but mostly fine. Uh, okay, let's see what we have quest-wise. I think we already spent most of our uh, of our resources, so let's, let's just go on to the next one. Thirteen grand, and the berserk mask, which is not that great. Oh wow, that's uh, something I've never seen—the talisman of flame. But we don't want to go into the darkest dungeon. <laughs> we are not going in that. Um, no, I just uh, saw on the uh, main menu that there is apparently a new uh, DLC, the Shield Master. So that's something I'll probably have to look into somewhere after Christmas. That's kind of nice to see that the game is still getting updated. And uh, let's see what we got here. That could be amazing for our Plague Doctor. And it's also the next boss battle here, the Brigand 8-pounder. This would be a hell of a lot of uh, I mean this is a hell of a lot of, of deeds. Could totally use that. Portfolioness is not that great in my opinion. Here we have the uh, swine prince who we have still not defeated. Uh no, that doesn't seem too great either. So I'm currently tempted between this and uh well we could just take that. Well, that's a lot of deeds. But this is a level 3 quest, this is a level 1 quest. Which I believe, considering uh, what we have here, might be a better choice. Okay, you get out of the party for a moment. So what do we have here? We could send... Uh, I think we can send them up to level 3. Well, this guy, but... Uh, You'll, re you'll reject that. So everybody up to level 3 would be fine with it. So we'll send a level 2 Arbalest, we'll send a Hound Master. I had one here earlier. Um, do we have a level 1? Yes, you. Send you, we'll send you, and then we'll have to send an Occultist because... Actually, we don't. Uh, we'll send Reviers, or Reviers. Do we have an occultist? The question is, do I want an occultist for that? I mean, I could also go with the jester. Might actually be a better idea to send the jester with the party. Just for the sake of stress relief, but the arbalist alone can't do all the healing we need. Uh, actually, if we just go for it we might do we might get it done so let's send against my better judgment uh, let's send a um what do I want to send here we need someone for for the third position I could send a plague doctor we want some healing. We, we wouldn't get the stress reduction, but we could go with the kills. Yeah, I think I'll go with the uh, Plague Doctor. We'll go back for a moment, because I want to make sure that everybody has his uh, skills and equipment sorted. 
Ah, that was a good call. What skills do you have? Noxious Blast, Play Grenade, Blinding Gas, and Battlefield Medicine. So that's this, this, that, and this. Do I want to level up the rest? Not now. Okay, uh, let's stay there. Who else has the badge? You have following skills. You have Sniper Shot, Sniper's Mark, Battlefield Bandage and the Rallying Flare. Which is kind of nice, it clears Stun and Marked. And it will de-stealth, which is something we've probably not seen before. And I also can't remember that, so it seems like this has actually been a uh, patched-in thing. So I'm really happy to see that. Okay, so those skills, we'll, we'll try to stick to those and level up the rest later when we're a bit more wealthy, I guess. So, this and that. You can't even get that. Okay, we'll need all the skills here. Because I would like to have the uppercut. It's a fairly amazing skill to have. And you have... Okay, you also need a lot of upgrades. But you seem to be fairly cheap in that regard, so we'll, we'll upgrade everything. We'll give you this... Hounds Rush, Hounds Rush, and Target Whistle, that's fine. I mean, the Blackjack is also a very nice skill. But we'll go with that. Okay, let's check the blacksmith. You can't upgrade anything, you can. I think I'll not buy any further upgrades because we do need some more money for the various pieces of equipment we need. Let's quickly check this. Anything I want to sell here? Um, where's my bounty hunter? You. Uh, you can actually have that. Sell that. Yes, please. Uh, plus healing skills, that's probably fairly useful. Where is our arbalist? Um, where did she go? Oh, you have that already. Plague doctoring. Where was the plague doctor? There you are. Minus one speed. Move resist. I'll throw him that. It doesn't seem to have any uh, downsides to, <laughs> to having it, so it's kind of nice. Okay, and this seems to be an arbalus, uh, an antiquarian thing, so let's uh, find an antiquarian. There she is. Huh. Plus 10 dodge speed. Do you want dodge or speed? Actually, let's, let's ignore that for now. Let's just embark, because we have stuff to do. So there we go, we want this quest. And we'll to go provisions. We need to left click, not right click, for starters. Uh, I think three keys are all we need. We never needed that many of them. Let's go with five of those. Six torches, four holy water. We'll ignore that. And we'll spend the rest on food. Do what every reasonable adult would do. Spend all your money on food. Uh, let's buy another torch. Uh, we have the Plague Doctor for that. And for bleeding, so we don't need that necessarily. Let's go with another torch. Actually, two. Okay, that's... I think that's good. Let's embark. And hope this will not get us horribly killed. Folk are by their nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. 
It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. That doesn't sound well for our ancestor. Although it backs to, to the question, how much ancestor has he been? I mean, he clearly sent us a uh, letter, so we, we know him. So how are we related? Is it, is it our father? Is it our grandfather? Maybe great-grandfather? But I don't think beyond that anyone would be alive. I mean, he's probably also not alive anymore, but... Uh, he knows us and sent us a letter, so unless that letter has been on the way for like 50 years. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Well, I think you can argue about close, but uh, see the map. Okay, so one, two, three, okay, here, then here, then there, and then we'll do it this way. This is the... There might be some, some more branching off there, but that will be fine. Woohoo, some heirlooms. Let's get the map. And let's shovel that away. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Okay, no battle here. And scouting. This is kind of not worth it, so we'll, we'll bypass that. We know there's nothing here, and uh, also, we'd only lose a shovel there. So, it doesn't seem quite worth going there in the first place. Okay, and this is where we get the collector again. No. We got three of those dogs. Great. Um... Yeah, go with that. A quadruple dodge isn't that wonderful. That's a plague there. You could uppercut that guy, so he's at least knocked out for a turn. And you just snipe this, I guess. Takes five damage per round, that's quite substantial. Also means we don't have to, to worry about this guy anymore. Zero damage, very, very nice. Okay, there's some bleeding, which we don't really worry about. Yikes, you could try dodging. But let's sort that out quickly. I mean, that's... Quite well done. Will this guy take? He takes one damage, so we'll have to uh, knock him out. Okay. Uh, I think we we'll want to have a shovel with that. No? Uh, okay. Um. Nice. Okay. Ooh, a tree. Nothing of interest. Ugh. Oh, we dodged that nicely. And a backpack. With loot. If only treasure down a page. The flow of otherworldly corruption. Uh, okay, I think we haven't seen this so yet, so uh Sebastian's watch was his last. We were jolted during our evening's repast. The best we could make in these murky halls of our once great hounds. From the roar and flash of black powder. We dropped our bows and hurried to him. All we could find was a spent pistol and a trail of blood leading into a maze of shadows. We press on. You might have seen that before. I'll take the food. Impressive haul. If you value such things. It would also appear the uh, narrator has gotten an update. Um, okay. 
scouting time. There is loot this way, so we'll have that. Yeah, we'll have some food as well. We just just got four. I know two, but uh, it frees up that stack. That was so not worth it. Now we'll try to uh, not use any torches until we're on the way back here. And I went here to this room because I believe going backwards stresses the heroes out quite a lot. Okay, and there we go. Um, we probably want to use uh, herbs on that. No, fine. The hero becomes diseased. He or, or not? Uh, Okay, also we gain more loot if we uh, explore in the dark, so uh, maybe we'll get two torches out of this. Nope, but a torch and we gain some medicinal herbs back. But before we fight we'll probably want to uh, get a bit more illumination. Well, who said we're gonna meet the Collector again? <laughs> I totally called it. I totally called it. At least he can be blighted. Uh, yeah, he has no... Uh, let's actually use one of those dark treats. I think it's worth it now. Let's also make a... Let's, let's mark the enemy. Okay, here's some highwaymen. He is marked, so we can just keep wailing at the uh, collector first. Can't actually collect the uh, thing, so we'll probably just uh, use our bounty to knock those guys out. Just try to keep sticking uh, damage over time on the collector. I mean, he, does, he gets 30 damage from that alone. Uh, could we perhaps? Punch the collected highwaymen. Because those deal a lot of damage. And I'd rather not take a lot of damage. Ugh. Something that is slightly worrying is our um, our health. Uh, our stress on the Hound Master. Ooh, very nice. Praise the Hound indeed. Yeah, that won't buy him too much time. He takes 11 damage each round, so one more hit and we should actually have him. There we go. The Collector is pretty much done for. Because next time he will, or next turn he will gain that damage over time. Let me stun the enemies there. At least this one here. And keep him from draining life as well. Can these guys bleed? They can. Let's go with the Hound's Harry. I was hoping we could actually get a kill here as well. That would be very nice. Yeah, that's not gonna save you. Uh, can we fin it? Yes, we can. Well, it didn't quite finish him, but uh, that's close enough. And we are doing surprising. I mean, I'm not going to jinx it, but we're doing surprisingly well here. Didn't even take too much damage. Ooh, sweet. I'm really liking the Plague Doctor, actually. I rarely use him because he's kind of... I don't know, he, he doesn't have those high damage skills and uh, his healing is also not too great. Well, the, <laughs> the Collector was... I think he was having a very bad day today. I know, mean, actually, we, I think this was the third time we met him, so... Uh, it's not like we... <laughs> didn't know what he does. 
But you saw he his his skills were actually revealed to us for the most part. I think he still has one more. Let's look into that. There are treasures in there. Forget about that gold. We'll take that as well. Could we stack that and leave it behind? Yes, I'm one of those people who just can't resist doing that. I was hoping we wouldn't actually hit that, but uh, we'll have to deal with it now. Actually, could you whistle on that? We are getting a lot of dodges out of this today. I don't know why, but I like it. Also not doing too much damage, which is very, very pleasing. We, we got some stress there, but nothing too bad. Okay, uh, we can't really clear bleeding. So let's just uh, snipe this guy. So he'll die. It is, the weapon that cuts on its own. It is great indeed. Yeah, you should have aimed that. I sound like I'm playing Battle for Wesnot now, right? Uh, actually help with the bleeding. Yeah. Things don't run as red as you make them out to be. Give them no quarter. That was the plan. In you go. You ah no let's let's just collect. We don't need to postpone this battle any longer and to drag it out any longer. I'll we'll take that. We'll have those. We'll probably switch the uh, citrines for emeralds. We'll pop a torch. I think this is where the eight pounder should sit. So we'll probably camp over here. Unless, of course, we need to do it before. Some treasure in there. There's treasure to be had, and because we do kinda have too much stuff anyway. Nice. It's 12, I was on, sure if it was 12 or 16. Apparently, it's 12. That, and we'll read that. Day 8. Journal of Darius Highwayman. Moira has been afflicted with sickness. I know, we've seen that already. I'm trying to bring one diary page per adventure, I guess. I mean, actually, they should be running out, so uh, we'll be fine. Okay, let's see if we can actually kill one of those before they uh, they hit us. Knock this guy out. We didn't want to move him anyway. Okay, held. Take this guy out. Uh. Okay, he's out. This guy is uh, out next round. Can completely focus on the big bandit here, the brigand blood letter. Which means mark him. You would we could use another one with a uh, actually we have a stunning ability. But the uh, brigand has a lot of stun resist now that we've actually stunned him. Oh we can't stun him. Because we need him to be in the uh, third or fourth position for that. So let's just go with uh, this. And since we also can't hit him with the Arbalest, I think, actually we can, because he's so big. Let's actually do that. Look at that damage. That's a bounty collection. And that's that. Okay, we got the Eldritch Killing Incense, which uh, sounds very specific. It sounds like a thing from Munchkin. Which is a great game, mind you. It's no criticism. 
I would like those these actually I'll trade those deeds for that uh, anti-venom because we have a plague doctor for those uh, nasty blights and toxins he has us covered with a great supply of uh, even nastier blights and toxins Ooh, it's some eldritch guys no not eldritch uh, they're just humans they're cultists we don't want to uh, actually stun those two Wonderful. Stop focusing on the Hound Master. We need him to be alive. Fine. Have at him then. Uh, go with the Hound's Harry. Well, it's one. This is not quite devastating, but. Uh, if you want to call it devastating, then uh, knock yourself out. The ground quakes. Then they don't seem to like to move, so we get all the dodges, they get all the uh, resists, but I think that's okay. Gets plus 20% stress, what for? Let's take out this one. Okay, he's down, unless he gets healed, which he uh, doesn't. Must be a very long incantation if it takes out that much torch. Okay, if this kills him, he might get some stress reduction. There we go. That was what I wanted. Now, play grenade over here would be kind of a waste because we probably couldn't kill him anyway. Let's just fix the uh, Houndmaster's bleeding. Can even try to finish this one off. Okay, that's the next cult is down. Still bleed out. Okay, yeah, we got this. We got this. I have those deeds. And uh, nothing else. Uh, unlock that. Hidden compartment with even more stuff. Which we sadly can't use. There's more treasure ahead. Um, let's actually eat some of that food. Only four units in total. So we still have some left. Oh, look at that. We totally have that torch. Well, 250 gold is not quite a fortune, but uh, we'll take it. Yeah, rectoplasm. Couldn't anyone light an Eldritch killing incense? I mean, it sounds more like something that would kill the opponent or the, the Eldritch by uh, virtue of being like Eldritch killing. Crit for two. Wonderful. This, they, can, they can even bleed. I don't know how that can be bleeding, but uh, I'll not argue with it. Please stun that. They can bleed, but they don't want to, apparently. It appears they don't want to. Not a big deal. I totally forgot to check if the Houndmaster has the uh, ambush prevention skill, but I think he has. Well struck. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, if the boss battle goes as easy as that as well, Promise a success indeed. Okay, and in we go. One more battle. Once more onto the breach. Onto the breach? Upon the breach? I think into the breach. Ah, that's not good. That is good. Um, let's punch this guy. I 
I have to go back into recording more Heroes of Might and Magic. It's one of those things I keep postponing, I keep pushing it back. But yeah, I have to record this. I mean, people se seem to like to, to, to watch those <laughs> those videos, and I really I really like playing it. But it was one of those missions where I I remember were quite a pain in the ass to do, and uh, where you really get get stuck in a rut, and it's uh, I've just not look not been looking forward into or to, to playing that mission again. Memory reserved, it's the mission where you have to save the uh, sorceress guild. And it's just something I've really not been wanting to try again yet. Um, I will though, don't, don't, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. I will look back into it. One down. I was hoping for more. That should take this guy out as well. Uh, that's actually okay. The bounty hunter does get a fair bit of knockout, so uh, rather kills, not just knocking out. Can actually fix that bleeding. Great. I was hoping for that uh, to happen later. For, for for us to get our turn first. But, oh well. Ooh, that's a mess. Oh, let's use that. Let's take those. Ignore the thousand gold. Now we could go here, then do the boss fight, and then return. We could also use our firewood. We will use this in the in the, in the boss fight. So. Uh, We'd have one free slot anyway. Yes, let's use our firewood here. A moment of respite. Do a full rest, a full meal. Uh, we want to not be ambushed. Probably also remove some stress. What else can we do? Beautiful. Alright. What do we want? Don't need that either. Uh, okay, so I guess the uh, bounty hunter will use the rest of our time units. Can you encourage yourself? No, you can't. Um, I cancel that. Can anyone else you can encourage him? Um, think of the songs they will sing for us is not always a great reward. As Santa Claus, there are some th songs I actually dread they will sing for me, and I know they will sing them for me because they sing them every year at least eight times for me, and I just can't hear them anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's just rest here. Hey, we're all doing actually very, very well. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I don't know, in fact, why, is it, why did it get used up? I'm just curious now. Oh well. Ooh, great. What could possibly go wrong there? Eh? Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried uh, on. Wait, all that. Why is that crate used up now? Ooh, a trap. Things start to go wrong. With a singular purpose. Uh, more gold. I don't like gold. It's kind of useless resource, and we'll use our two torches, um, Right before the boss battle there. I mean, it, it had to be here. This is actually very, very nice because it means we get rid of one more shovel. Look at that, I could have even used that one shovel. Uh... Yeah, 
we didn't need that. Let's use those two torches and go in. I was expecting more hunger checks. There's the brigand eight pounder, and I believe he will not fire if we get all of those. If we get the, the brigand uh, matchman out. So yeah, those are basically two uh, units that have to stick together. You, you can't separate them. But we don't have to. Mark this. Oh, we can't mark this. We'll mark uh, you then. It's actually unnecessary. That. Okay, so this guy is out next turn, and I think the uh, the, the eight pounder yeah will call for reinforcements. So as long as you keep this uh, this guy killed every turn, uh, every turn, you shouldn't have to worry too much about them getting anywhere. Now the eight pounder is completely immune to most. Things we can throw at it. Including but not limited to. Uh, you need to mark that. Uh, so, yeah, no bleeding, no blight. But we can damage it quite easily. But we will starting next turn. But I want to get rid of this, this one unit because now it only calls for. I think it only calls for this here. Oh no, it, it gets more reinforcements as well. Well, screw it. Focus on the cannon, then. Um. Yeah, you play grenade that. Plague grenade, not play grenade. Yeah, I think we got this pretty much. Unless we let them fire a few times, which I don't really intend to do. I wouldn't call s <laughs> I wouldn't call that a you know abomination, but uh, I mean that's kind of rude. Okay, you can actually shoot that, so let's do that. I want to refresh the mark. I oh, know it, it it keeps getting more reinforcements, so we we'll probably want to knock those those out as quick as possible. But yeah, this keeping this guy down is important. So I'm actually willing to uh, make sure he's down. I'm not sure if he actually has to be next to the cannon or not. As long as it's... I think it's even uh, getting a crit every time, but I'm not, I'm not sure on that. Okay, you don't crit it every time. And this guy we don't have to know about. Enforcements as expected. So we'll actually hit them with this wonderful contraption again. Okay, target whistle on the 8 pounder. Can't be stunned either. Interesting. And the first time, no crit with the bounty hunter. This guy, which is perfect. Let's get it reinforced again. But yeah, this fight was fairly easy. That cannon, please. We can knock the cannon out. We wouldn't have to worry about anything else, but we'll still not see it fired. Which is something that's only desirable, at the very least. 
Boom. <laughs> yeah, this went way too smooth, but uh, not to complain about that. Uh, just heal. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we'll get all the health back anyway. But, yeah. Triumphant pride precipitates. We already have those. We'll take this and we'll take that. Can I stack those? No. Okay, let's leave the rest behind. And let's return to the hamlet because there's nothing else to do here for us. I'm not going to, to go back to this dead end and explore that. So, yeah, return to the hamlet. Quite triumphant. They'll hardly believe we've had, a, <laughs> we've had any adventures, actually. And we have something for the Plague Doctor. Something very nice for him, indeed. Yeah, speed that up, please. Come on, we, we know how much we, ca we gathered. Oh well. Okay, what do we get? Fear of beasts. And clumsy. That was unnecessary, but uh, I guess it could have been worse. Also, had a 40 minute episode, so I'm not sure what I want to do with that now. I think I'll just get the uh, stuff in the hamlet sorted out and then we'll call it the video because I don't want to do two dungeons today. But yeah, this one was, was very, very smooth and very, very uh, easy to do. The generosity of the hamlet is nothing, I oh. fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Um, now, where's the Plague Doctor? You're a Plague Doctor. I don't think we have another, so we'll give him the uh, Blasphemous uh, Vile, not File. Yeah, I think that's a perfect choice. Way better than the uh, Bloody Herb, which gives us f stuff for melee skills which we don't even use. And uh, considering how this went, I I'm quite sure that was a good idea. I mean, we could have used incision here and then tried to do one bleeding for three rounds, but honestly, one bleeding for three rounds? We got five blight for three rounds. Why would you do one bleeding? Unless, of course, you find something that's immune to blight and uh, not so much to bleeding. So the Plague Dot wouldn't be the greatest choice in the... Uh, uh, in the Warrens, but aside of that, he's kind of nice to have. Pantuel, you need to go into the... <laughs> Why does he need damage for range? What range skills does he have? Oh, those. Ah, uh, yeah. The solo and... Uh... Well, no skills we are using. This is kind of a waste. Okay, anyway, we need him to... We need Pantul to unwind a bit. Go and gamble a bit. And Veral, what do you need? You cannot meditate. That's, that's bad. Probably want to fix that eventually. Maybe if we get another Caretaker Congress, we'll, we'll use that. But yeah, we'll send you in here. Yeah, she can't meditate, so... <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Yeah. We have plenty of deeds, so we might actually upgrade one of those two. I think I'll go with the blacksmith. We need more of those uh, things. Oh, we can upgrade the armor. To be honest, I kind of forgot what I wanted to upgrade, so I'll just go with this. A sharper sword, a stronger shield, anything to prolong a soldier's life. And yeah, then we'll call the video. So next week we'll do more quests. Maybe even fight another boss, I don't know. But for now, that's uh, all. I'm going to upload this now and finally have a Darkest Dungeon video ready again. So uh, look forward to that. 
And next week we'll do another quest. I'll do that actually right away, so I have two videos ready and uh, can just upload. Haha. -ha. Effective working, you know. Anyway, till next week. Bye.